welcome to the show. I'm Corinne. And I'm LaShondra, and together we're Everyday CNAs. Well, the new year is here. Yes, it is. It is 2021. Yes. Hopefully this year will be a good year for, yes. for all of us. And unfortunately, we're going to start off talking about the flu because the flu season is here. It started late fall into winter, but the flu activity actually peaks between December and February and could last up until May. I know. Yeah. Well, the CDC press officer, Scott Pauley, states flu activity is currently being caused by influenza B and the Victoria virus. It's followed by H1N1 and H3N2, you know, the viruses. And they estimate up to 49 million people could be affected by the flu each year. And you know, this year I was thinking about not taking my, like, a flu shot. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about not taking my flu shot because I was kind of scared, really, because I didn't know what they were doing to these shots and everything. Right. I got to thinking about it and I said, I'm going to go ahead and take it because, you know, working in healthcare, you know, you try to keep everybody safe. So I went ahead and took the flu shot, but Do you they feel said, better by taking it? I mean, do you feel a little bit more secure well, in a way? to be honest, don't, this is the, I've been in Missouri 13 years mm -hmm. and eight years out of 13 years is the first time I ever took the flu shot. I never took it in Texas because I just never took it, but working at the veterans home, just a lot of different things has made me realize, you know. Right, that so you I, need to yeah, take it. Yeah, and I've been taking it every year and I've been fine. Like, I don't get none of the side effects, so I think well, it's Well, even though to, you took it for yourself, you also took for it for all else, your coworkers right. and your family and especially um, your residents. And it's only, um, you know, and a flu shot will last through one flu season, just about six months, two weeks after receiving the vaccination. However, the shot is only for certain types of flus. Right. So. Um, we're going to go over some of the symptoms of the flu versus uh, the common cold. And I'm going to get my cheat sheet here. <laughs> the flu can be very abrupt. The cold can come on very gradually. You will have um, fever usually with the flu. It's rare with a cold. Aches usually with the flu, slightly with a cold. Chills are very common with the flu and uncommon with the cold. Fatigue and weakness usually comes along with the flu, sometimes with the cold. Sneezing, stuffy nose, sore throat is all sometimes with the flu and very common with the cold. Chest discomfort is common and mild to moderate with a cold. A cough, a headache is very common with the flu and very rare to a cold. You do not have to have all of these symptoms to have either the flu or the cold. Yeah, and I remember just good hand washing, you know, and uh, cover your mouth when coughing, get plenty of fluids get plenty of rest, and I always seek medical advice. Stay away from, now do not go to work if you're running a fever. Please don't go to work if you're running a fever. Stay home, get rest, get yourself better. That way you won't bring anything in to the residents, your coworkers, so. Right, just stay. And I know people's probably like, oh, well if I stay home, they might think I'm, and I, it doesn't matter what they think. If you know you're sick, you know you're sick. So it doesn't matter what someone else think, you know your body better than anyone right. else, so please That's stay right. home and don't get it's, no one it's, else sick. It's good judgment and it's kind of, you know, common sense um, because during this pandemic is still going on. Um, just also stay aware of the signs and symptoms that your residents or yourself could be having because it's like we have all three things going on around us mm -hmm. at one time. So, I mean, I get confused about what I just read off my little card versus the flu and the cold. And right. then you have the virus that's going around, which is, can be just as deadly as the flu. And you're thinking, okay, well, do I have this, this, or this? So the best thing to do is, like you said, you know, 
just be smart about it. You know, if you have a fever, you know it, you're contagious, stay away from, you know, well, everyone. You have, you have to think about something, too. This is allergy seasons, too, for a lot of people. Yes. Like, my kids have allergies real bad. So, you know, you might sneeze or somewhere, in, you know, in a place, but people might look at you crazy, but it's allergy season. So keep right. that in mind, too. Everyone that's sneezing and coughing and does not have the the uh, coronavirus, right. you know, right. Or, so. Right. So just stay safe and uh, follow the safety guidelines. Wash your hands like we have mentioned before. Wear your mask and uh, stay safe and healthy until you come back and see LaShonda and I again on Everyday CNA.